The CES coverage is sponsored by Luxor, Las Vegas. Get to the point. Rooms start at $40. You can go over to tpn.tv for the Luxor advertisement, which is the gateway to savings. CES coverage sponsored by Audible.com, where books come alive. Listen to a bestseller on your iPod or MP3 and get a free trial at audiopodcast.com forward slash CES. CES coverage sponsored by GoDaddy.com, the leader in domain names, web hosting services. New GoDaddy customers save 25% by using promo code CES25 at GoDaddy.com. Devices.inc. Why don't you tell us a little bit about this? So this is the agro right here. Um, basically, we looked at other meat thermometers out there in the market. And uh, you make it a little bit closer. Oh, sorry, guys. Um, decided to, I mean, so. it's a standalone thermometer. Uh, you take the probe. It's kind of nice. Jack, can we get a little hair uh, carrying Jack case? Four. Okay, coming over. He's going to do it. I'm doing about 18 for... things now, but I'm all right. <laughs> this, this is the primary. All right. Hang on. We're, we're good. We're I'm good. Thank good. you very much, okay, He's going to adjust it here. I'm going to adjust it right okay. there. Whoa, there we are. So basically the way this works is the unit sits outside the oven or the grill. You take the probe. goes inside the grill, inside the oven. Okay. Um, and you get a temperature reading. Uh, you can set an alarm directly on this. Then the cool thing is, via long-range Bluetooth, you can sync this device with your iPad, iPod, iPod Touch. Uh, if I can get this up and running. So right now, this is currently syncing with the iPad interface. Okay. Oh, nice. Um, so nice we're going to find out if we're ham, beef, veal, <laughs> pork, or That's turkey. That's cool. So you, get a nice, <laughs> you get a nice visual thermometer right here. Yeah. A timer over here. And the coolest thing that I like about this, which I use all the time, is you can go in here and set the temperature. So you say you're cooking beef. You want to cook it medium rare. There you go. The alarm is set. Now the alarm will go off when the temperature reaches that amount on both okay. this device and the agro. And the agro wow. is also capable of having a second probe, so you can monitor two pieces of meat at once. Uh -huh. Or if you're a smoker, uh, we're coming out with a smoker application relatively soon where you can have one probe monitoring the oh, piece so of meat. Oh, not, so not if you're a smoker, but if you have a smoker. Uh, if, if you like to smoke. <laughs> if you like to smoke. <laughs> okay. Uh, or monitor your smoker. You like to smoke meat, I should say. You're outside uh, smoking. There you go. <laughs> you can monitor the, the meat with one probe and also the, the temperature of the flame with the other probe. All right. Yeah. So is that yeah. a, that's a self-timer then, too? You could, you could actually set yeah, that. Yeah, you can set this to whatever you want to set. So it's okay. set six minutes right now. So I could, I could set up, even if I don't use the sensor, let's say I'm just, uh, you know, boiling some water exactly. and I don't want it to boil over so and I want to go downstairs and change the laundry or something like that I can uh, set the timer on my device and then go downstairs mm -hmm. and uh, and let the water boil or put the eye grill into it yeah. and, and, and until it wins the right temperature. I always end up cooking rice when I'm cooking meat so I always set the timer for the rice and then I can monitor the meat and the rice mm -hmm. at the same time. Oh that's a good point too yeah. Um, the other thing we really like is that we're continually updating our app and if you click right here we have some tips, recipes, I don't know if I have any internet service. Yeah, the Wi-Fi is a little <laughs> bit. Uh, it's like, where's all the where's all everybody's the using the Wi-Fi right now? It's it's, it's not pretty. Um, so there are some recipes on here. There are tips, and then you, there's a browser. So when you're in the app, you can surf the internet also. Oh, uh, there we go. There we oh, go. There we go. All right. So yeah, if if you need some, because uh, one thing I, I just remembered this. You know, a few months ago, I I, I got a rump roast. I wanted in a meat raffle, mm -hmm. and it's like I put it in the slow cooker, and and you know I didn't know. How I was going to cook it, I didn't know, you know, what ingredients I had, you know, what, what I could do with it. So that would have been perfect to get new recipes and, and new ideas, and then of course put in the eye grill to make sure that it's cooked in its proper. Exactly. And, and, and we're actually coming out with four new products by Q3 of this year, and we'll, this is currently only on the uh, the Apple system, the Apple operating system, but we'll be on Android uh, at the end of Q1, and really? then probably in the future maybe Microsoft. Maybe Microsoft. <laughs> we'll see if people are actually using Microsoft. Okay. Good point. What are the price points on this? Uh, it retails for ninety nine ninety nine. Okay. Um, you can buy an additional probe for another uh, nineteen ninety nine. Okay. So with the second probe, you get be able to do two temperatures. Exactly. In the box, it only comes with one probe, mm -hmm. right. uh, but you can order the second and probe it, separately. Uh, do you have like longer cord probes and stuff like that? Uh, we do not. This cord is uh, forty eight inches, so it's pretty okay. pretty long. Um, All right. And okay. It neatly wraps up around the device for storage. Okay, mm -hmm. and, and how does it how does it unplug, the probe? Yeah, uh, it just pops right out of the side. This is standard plug. Yeah. Okay, it's almost a headphone jack. Oh, okay. 
that's one of the best things going. I that's the only way I can cook anymore on the grill <laughs> or even in the oven. I have even I got an oven that has temperature and I just love those things. Yeah. I'm gonna have to get one of those. And the device is currently selling on our website, iGrillInc.com, uh, Amazon.com, and also uh, we'll be in the Apple stores, both retail and online, in the next mm -hmm. few weeks. Okay. So it takes uh, AA batteries. Uh, there's four AA batteries in the back of there. Okay. All right. Cool. And uh, to get more information, we go to iDevicesInc.com. Or iGrillInc.com. Or iGrillInc.com. Both sites work. All right, perfect. Jonathan, right. thank perfect you very much for your time. Nice meeting you. Thank you. Oh, wait, you. wait, wait. We do have a question in the chat. Uh, what about electric or gas motor temperature for only food? I'm not exactly sure what that uh, question was about. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Um, what about motor temperature no. for Measuring. only food? Hmm. I think he did a mistype on that. It I, just I measures of the meat or the product. It doesn't measure oven temperature. Yeah. Well, yeah, you could probably you could put that the, the temperature the probe, in the, uh, the probe in the in the oven to. The, the to probe is capable of measuring the temperatures from 40 degrees to 400 degrees if it's inside something ambient air and go all the way up to 650 degrees. Okay. So if you put that sensor on on an oven rack, you can tell when yeah. it's 375 degrees. But make there. sure you don't leave it on above that. It'll damage the probe if it's okay. above 400 degrees. So you should put it into the food, <laughs> yes. into the meat, and, yes. uh, and go from there. So. All right, perfect. Right. Thank you very much, Thanks, Jonathan, guys. for your time. Thank you. I love it. It's a <laughs> Jack, I think Jack and I are both uh, going to be buying one of these very <laughs> You may be right on that one. <laughs> so. I like that. All right.